to quote a video game I once played. Hey. Welcome back to Back to the Basics. I am Mr. Hall. Today's lesson, we're going to be going over in-game currency. We're going to start off with units. This little guy right up here at the top left corner. Units. It's kind of your bread and butter of this game. You can purchase just about anything you need in the game with units. You need a crystal to open a new champion. You can buy crystals with units. You want items to boost your champions during a difficult fight. You can buy those with units. You need revives or potions to keep fighting. You can buy those with units. You want alliance quest tickets. You can buy those with units. You want materials to unlock or rank up your masteries. Um, all kinds of things you need in order to get through this game you can purchase through units sometimes some of them you can only purchase with units so again the bummer to that is you have to spend real life money in order to get these units these units are kind of important in order to get certain things in the game however there is also good news you will be earning units for doing just about every kind of content in this game if you're running the main story quest you're going to be earning units for completing quests and then you're going to be earning more units when you ex fully explore that quest you're also going to earn units for doing monthly event quests you're going to earn units for doing pvp fights you're just going to earn units doing just about everything within this game so always save units as much as possible um, i don't recommend just throwing units at crystals trying to open shiny new ca new champions Save the units in case you need them for like a revive or a potion or maybe something like a, a boost if you're struggling in alliance war or something. Save the units for something important. After that we have gold. Gold is kind of the same thing. You're going to be needing gold a lot if you want to level up and rank up your champions. Gold can be used to purchase some items. Um, I think particularly in the Black ISO market, uh, you can use gold to buy certain potions and revives and stuff like that. Um, but it's it's pretty rare. Gold is almost exclusively used for leveling up and ranking up your champions. Kind of like the units, you're going to earn gold for just about everything you do in the game. You're going to earn gold for completing quests, for completing PvP matches, opening certain crystals. There are even gold exclusive crystals where you just open that crystal and it'll just give you straight gold. So there's lots of ways to earn gold within the game, so don't stress about it too much. Again, like the units, I recommend saving the gold until you really, really need it. Try to hoard as much gold as possible. Also, good tip is every now and then, maybe twice a year, they're going to have a gold boost event. So if you have gold crystals, as tempting as it is to open those crystals now, hold off onto those because eventually there will be a gold boost event where you will gain more gold from every resource. So hold those crystals and when there's a gold boost event, then you can open those crystals. You're going to be earning so much more gold that way. After that, we have battle chips. You acquire battle chips from doing PvP content. Rather, it's a single quick match PvP or rather it's grinding in the arenas where it's three versus three or even just doing alliance war quests or um, alliance war fights and and yeah just alliance wars um you're gonna earn battle chips um so battle chips are used specifically just for opening battle chip crystals i don't remember what they're called they're maybe uh, arena crystals is what they're called and with the arena crystals, you're going to open those, you get gold units, and you have a rare chance of picking up a four or five star, maybe a three star, I don't remember, three, four or five star Punisher, classic Punisher. That's the only way you can get that champion in the entire game is those arena crystals. So battle chips are good, mostly just for opening crystals. You can also use battle chips to purchase Alliance Quest tickets, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. After that, we have the loyalty points. Loyalty points are earned through alliance activity. So if you go into the alliance tab and you hit the help tab and you just hit the help button, you're going to be helping out your alliance. You're going to be earning loyalty that way. You can only earn up to 1,000 loyalty points per day 
using the help button, but there are also other ways in the game to earn loyalty points, such as completing alliance objectives and alliance quests and different other things. So that's one way. Now, alliance loyalty points are kind of somewhat useless. There is like a loyalty crystal that you can open, but it just kind of gives you random miscellaneous junk that's not particularly necessary. You can also use it to purchase um, a four or five star unstoppable Colossus. He's kind of a unique champion. He's not very useful, but he, you, you can get him if you want him. But again, he's not particularly useful. He's not a great champion. He's just a unique champion. That's the only way you can get him is through these loyalty points. But he's sitting there in the store if you decide to use him. My thing is with loyalty points, I use those to purchase Alliance Quest tickets. I, I don't see the point in using units or gold or even battle chips to purchase the Alliance Quest tickets when I could just use loyalty points when loyalty points aren't really useful for anything else anyways. So that's that. After that, we have the glory now, Glory is specific to participation in Alliance quests. This is the only way you can earn Glory is by helping your Alliance out in the Alliance quest. You're going to earn Glory at the end of the week. There's like a five-day period when you run an Alliance quest constantly. And at the end of that five-day period, you're going to rack in a whole bunch of re rewards, including Glory. Glory is used in the Glory store to purchase all sorts of useful items. You've got potions you've got um power up not power ups but uh, boosts um some that are specific to solo content some that are specific to alliance mode content like alliance wars you've got potions and boosts and crystals and and, and maybe not crystals well you do have gold crystals um but you also have rank up materials such as catalysts and tier two cattle tier two alpha catalysts and stuff like that so very useful stuff in the glory store so so make sure you're spending your glory wisely based on your particular needs. After that, we have, these are incursions artifacts. I'm gonna go over these real brief um, incursions. They're kind of like your dungeons. It's a two player co-op thing. You go in there, you get through as many zones as you can and you earn these artifacts. Artifacts are spent in the store. I think it's just, the incursions store i don't remember what it's called i don't do them very often but you can use these artifacts to purchase special crystals trying to target certain champions somewhat to an extent you'll you, you'll see them you, you have different crystals that say this is this crystal and here's the champions that you can earn from this crystal and there's a couple other things you can buy with them like incursions boosts or, or potions and stuff like that so that's that's what those here lastly we have the alliance tickets again you need these alliance tickets in order to access the alliance quest so if you want to get into the alliance quests you have to buy alliance tickets again in my opinion you want to use your alliance loyalty points in order to buy these rather than wasting your units or your gold to buy the alliance tickets and lastly here at the bottom we have the special event currencies these are going to change out usually about every month um currently we got three of them going on right now that's just because some of the the romantic crystal stuff hasn't gone away from last month in <laughs> february so that is your end game currency within marvel's contest of champions so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment if you have concerns or comments or constructive criticism or anything like that um Anything to say at all, go ahead and leave it in the comment and I'll either reply in the comment or I'll reply in a video in the future or something. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching, as always, and check back later and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.